Hello. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to talk about the reactions of carboxylic acids. And I'm honestly just going to use uh, acetic acid for some of my generic carboxylic acids here, but it's worth noting that uh, most carboxylic acids are going to do uh, these reactions. The first group of reactions that I want to focus on are, are the redox reactions. Um, if you're familiar with redox behavior of alcohols and, and aldehydes and ketones, you know that uh, carboxylic acids can be synthesized by oxidation of aldehydes and primary alcohols, and that there are reducing agents out there that will reduce carboxylic acids back to primary alcohols. And uh, one that's usually discussed is lithium aluminum hydride, uh, which can reduce uh, carboxylic acids to primary alcohols. And as this reaction is often discussed in uh, concert with sodium boral hydride reduction, uh, it's worth noting that sodium boral hydride uh, does not reduce carboxylic acids. So there's no reaction here. It reacts with carboxylic acids. I guess no reaction is probably not the most no reaction is probably not the most correct way of describing this process because sodium boral hydride is still basic and sodium boral hydride does in fact react with acetic acid and deprotonates it uh, and, and actually the outcome of this reaction is sodium uh, triacetoxy AOC borohydride, uh, which is a weaker reducing agent uh, that can, um, but it is acid stable and can do some other things. Okay, so uh, but generally the reduction doesn't happen. You get a proton transfer. Right? Oh, and my lithium aluminum hydride doesn't look like aluminum hydride. Um, there is a reagent that can reduce uh, another reagent that can reduce carboxylic acids to uh, aldehydes, or I'm sorry, to, to primary alcohols. And that reagent is borane, DH3, uh, often coupled with THF. Really does not want that, uh, there we go often coupled with THF, and this reagent will uh, reduce it to the carboxylic acid. Borane is an interesting reducing agent because it is not a nucleophilic reducing agent. It's an electrophilic reducing agent. It has, uh, you know, BH3 has a, an empty orbital. And in fact, generally BH3 is complex to uh, you know, other nucleophiles, so in the case of, of this one, it is complexed to THF in solvent. So this, this BH3-THF is a solution of BH3 and THF, where every boring molecule is attached to a THF molecule. And so the mechanism of this uh, hydride transfer is a little bit different because Borane is an electrophile, so the first step of this mechanism is not nucleophilic attack of the hydride, is not nucleophilic addition, but uh, a nucleophilic, or, but the, you know, the carboxylic acid and the borane getting together. And it's also worth pointing out that the carboxylic acid is not nucleophilic at the OH, it's nucleophilic at the carbonyl carbon, which is where the localized lone pairs are. Um, and so you generate this. B kind of intermediate here. And the boron now has a negative charge and the oxygen has a positive charge. And so now the hydride transfer can happen internally because it's just pretty close together. Mm, 
we have BMPH2 hanging out here, and like other reactions involving uh, <clears throat> these kinds of things, um, you know, those other two hydrogens can 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 react again, and then we end up having a a loss of leaving group situation where this can can go and there's some proton transfers that I'm, I'm kind of hiding out on uh, and so so this is kind of you know, we have the aldehyde and then the aldehyde can be reduced further it's worth noting uh, however that in a molecule, you know, this 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 won't work. It has both a carboxylic acid and a ketone. That under careful circumstances, uh, the boring THF combination can be made to reduce the carboxylic acid and not the ketone. But BH three is still a pretty good reducing agent if you if you're not careful. The the ketone can be reduced. Yeah. The other kind of reaction I just wanted to brief, uh, briefly highlight are the uh, conversion of carboxylic acids into their derivatives, and I'm going to spend the next video listing those reactions, and then there's a whole series of videos about how those reactions work. Thank you for watching.